Who is the man on the shroud? Barry Swartz is at St. John's University tonight to answer that question. He was the f official photographer for the 1978 Shroud of Turin Research Project, which was the first scientific study actually done on the shroud. He's also been an authority on the topic for over 35 years. So what do we have? We have a 14 and a half foot linen sheet. When you look at the shroud, the image doesn't look very coherent, even though you can see it there. But when you look at the negative, suddenly it takes on a more natural look, like a, like a photograph almost. The Shroud of Turin is an ancient piece of linen believed to be the burial cloth of Jesus Christ. It bears the full-length image of a man who was brutally beaten, pierced, and bleeding. Barry's team went to Turin to find out how the image got on this cloth and determine if it was a fake painted to further Christian doctrine. After extensive investigation, the team concluded that it was not created by an artist. Without a doubt, this image was the real human form of a man, a man who had been brutally scourged and crucified. If we look at the man of the shroud, and we look at the markings that are on the cloth, we see blood stains at the head from a cap or crown of thorns. We see his face severely beaten, one cheekbone more swollen than the other, both swollen. We look down a little further and we look at his back and his front, scourge marks covering his body, 120 or more. Uh, we go a little further down, we see the spear wound in the side with a blood flow, and interestingly enough with ultraviolet fluorescence photography, we see the serum halo around the blood flow. You think a medieval artist thought to do that? No, it's the real thing. The blood, by the way, has been tested by blood chemists and it is real blood, high content of bilirubin, which is why the blood is still reddish in color. If you go a little further down, you see the crucifixion nail wounds at the back of the hands, the wrist. You go a little further down, you see more scourge marks, and ultimately you see the, the blood stains of the feet from the crucifixion nails in the feet. I think what impacted me the most was that Barry Schwartz went into it skeptical and came out thinking it was authentic, because that to me just, like, pretty much there's no bias there, there can't be. It took me almost 20 years after examining the shroud before the last evidence came in that ultimately led me to believe there was only one answer to the question, is the shroud the real thing? Of course it is, and I absolutely am convinced now, or I wouldn't be on television talking about it if I had any doubts. It was really shown through this presentation that the blood stains and just the intricate um, part of the linen, it's just like, I, I really think it's real. Because <laughs> obviously Jesus, I mean, I actually almost cried when he was showing um, all of the scars that were on his body on his back. I started tearing up a little bit. People often ask me, how do you know that this shroud wrapped Jesus? The Romans crucified thousands. They speared him in the side, they scourged him, they beat him severely about the head and shoulders. They hung him on a cross, nailed him to a cross. But only one man that we know of in all of history who proclaimed himself the king of the Jews was crowned with a nasty thorn bush, and we have blood stains all over the man's head, as if from a cap or crown of thorns. Who else could it be? Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.